Hey, so this video here is, uh, we're going to be talking about similar triangles, okay? And what a similar triangle is, it's basically, um, if you look at this triangle up above here, uh, there's actually two triangles here, okay? There's one big triangle that you see right here, and there's a smaller triangle here. And uh, once we learn a few things about this, we'll be able to solve whatever we want about these triangles. A similar triangle, here's the big triangle, see how it matches up? I'm going to put it right there. And then here's the smaller triangle, I've got it right here. Whoops, having trouble. There we go. There we go, drag it over. That is that one there, and it kind of, you know, looks just like this. A similar triangle is a bigger or a smaller triangle, but all the angles on the inside, and there's three angles in any triangle, are, uh, they're all the same. And I'll prove that to you. I'll just go around and say, okay, see, that angle matches perfectly. So this angle right in here is identical. This angle up here, identical. And then the one down here, as you can tell, it looks like a 90 degree angle, also identical, okay? So um, let me get my pen. So if this was triangle ABC, and this was triangle DEF, and I'm not doing it very neatly here, I apologize. A person could say triangle ABC is similar, here's the symbol for similar, is similar to triangle DEF. Def. Sounds like Def Leopard, but that's a band and that's off topic. Okay. Anyway. So and these these are ordered very importantly. These the way that we've ordered these number these letters here are very important because angle A, let me get my pink pen. Angle A matches up with angle D. Okay? A and D are identical angles. B uh lines up with angle E. Those I guess some people would call these uh angles congruent. They're the same. Okay? And angle C and angle F they also match up. Okay, angle C and angle F also match up perfectly. So these two triangles are similar, and that's that symbol right there. All right? So let's deal with this question here. It says, well, it doesn't really say anything, but the nice thing about math is you can see the question. It's right there. They want to know how tall this side is right here. Okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move these triangles away. I'm going to just Ah, I don't know if I need to get rid of them or not. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep them. You folks like them, don't you? Okay. So we've got the question mark right there, and we know that this is 24 feet across. We know this one is 14 feet, and the height of this one is 6 feet. Okay? So if anything, what I could do now is just get rid of this guy and just move it over there. <laughs> Let's move this up. There we go. Okay, here's how you solve a question like this. When you have similar triangles, one way of doing it is to say, okay, I gotta find out this unknown part right here. I'm gonna call the unknown part X. Okay, there it is. And if you if you have been watching the Zorro videos from before, um, you'll remember how you'll you'll recognize this right away. This X uh, matches up with this six right here. Do you see how they match up? They're both the vertical part of this, of these two triangles. So I'm writing it like that. On top is the big triangle, and on the bottom row is our small triangle. Okay? So then instead of, notice this, this looks a lot like we're about to do the Zorro method, right folks? It is. So. Start with the big triangle because the big triangle is on top. Okay, the big triangle is on top and the small triangle is on the bottom. So the big triangle has the 24 and the small triangle has a 14. If you set it up like this, and there's different ways to do this, you don't have to do it this way. But if you set it up like this and use the Zorro method, so the Zorro method means you would start at the part you don't know, make a Z, go across, diagonal, and across. Multiply the first two numbers that you meet. So you'd go 6 times 24, and then divide by 14. 
okay, as your last step. So let's try it. Having trouble getting it here. Okay, so we would go 6 times 14, oops, sorry, 6 times 24, and it doesn't matter what order you do it in. You could also go 24 times 6. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then divide by 14, and our answer would be 10.2 doesn't work out all nicely here, but uh, here we go. So x is 10.2. We now know the height of this triangle right here. We now know the height of it. Okay, 10.2. Let's try another question. Here's a situation, and we have two triangles, and uh, hmm, let's just call them A, B, C, D, E. I just left the C there because the C could be this angle or this angle. And I don't know if you remember, but um, or if you remember from grade 9, when you have a situation that looks where you have an angle here, the angle across from it or the angle opposite is identical. So this 30 degrees is actually identical to this right here, this angle here. They're both 30 degrees. So what we would say here is triangle ABC is similar to triangle, and let's be really careful how we do this, okay? What matches up with the A over here? What matches up with A? Well, not this one, not this one, that's 90 degrees, it's this one right here. So you have to write them in the right order, E, and then what matches up with the B right here? Well, obviously the D right here, so E, D, and then the C's obviously match up because they're even connected. They're almost like Siamese twins or something. Um, they are totally connected. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle EDC. All right, let's try and solve this. We're supposed to figure out what X is. Okay, so I'm going to start with the X, and underneath that, I'm going to look for the part of the smaller triangle that matches up with uh, this. I shouldn't have erased all the letters. I could have shown another way. Hmm, I wonder if I could go back in time. There we go. CB, notice, uh, or BC if you want. BC is the same thing as DC. Okay, see where they are? CB matches up with DC, which is right here. All right. So these two match up, the x and the 5. So what you want to do is go x over 5. And I don't know what this is doing here. Is equal to, stay with me, x over 5 is equal to 6 over, what goes on the bottom? The 4. x over 5 is equal to 6 over 4. Okay, big triangle, small triangle, big triangle, small triangle. X over 5 is equal to 6 over 4. Use the Zorro method. Start at the part you don't know, go across, diagonal, and across. Multiply the first two numbers you meet. 6 times 5 is 30, then divide by 4. So 30 divided by 4. I can do that one in my head, is 7.5. Okay, and you can put meters. We now know that this length here is 7.5 meters. And that is all I need to say for now about similar triangles. Good job.